So a few weeks ago, I did my extreme closet clean out. I'm gonna pause this girl real quick because I was making no sense. Okay, so I eventually sold my clothes, but there were some left over and before I was going to just donate them, I tried some of them on and realized that they actually still have some life left in them, especially after getting some of these boots that I will talk to you about. <laughs> Look at these babies. This kind of looks like it's uh, Thanos' chin. There's that. And these knee high boots. I really wanted like a good, nice knee high boot with a heel. And I also wanted a really nice chunky boot and something that would like give me comfort but also give me height. So just having these has really like opened up my outfit options. These are from Alojas. If you guys don't know Alojas, they are a sustainable brand from Spain. They have an on-demand production. Whenever there's a style that comes up, they open it up to like a pre-order system. So they're ensuring how many actual pairs of shoes that they actually have to make. They work with local artisans in Spain itself and they offer fully vegan styles or otherwise they try to use vegan materials whenever possible. That was Alojas. Honestly, really go check out their styles. They are so freaking cute. All right, so let's get into these outfits. We're gonna start off strong and we're gonna go with these. Like you just kind of wear them like this. And I got these in Peru. I wear this if I'm going to like the beach or something, but I honestly didn't really wear it that much. I used to wear this in university, but I just really haven't picked it up in such a long time. But when I saw these knee high boots, I was like, oh, wait a minute. I'm getting some like go-go 60s vibe. Do not mind the messy bed. All right, so I'm thinking we got some black shorts. It would have been best if it was like a black mini skirt, but I don't have that. Maybe pair it with this. I'll just probably like tuck this in and it's gonna be a look. Let's try it out. Oh my God, so this outfit came out exactly like what I had imagined in my head. I feel like Stevie Nicks basically <laughs> giving me that like 60s, 60s, 70s like vibe. And yes, I love it. I love the fact that all it really is, it's just a regular like all black outfit, right? But then you add in this super huge pop of color and it just like makes it so freaking cool. It makes the outfit super unique and it's so much fun. Yay! Okay, so now let's see how I style the second one. Okay, so for the second look, I wanna make it look like casual, cool, 70s, retro vibe. I'm gonna keep the same bandeau because I think it just fit. Oh, am I? I don't know, okay. The question that I have is whether I wanna go wide or go straight. <laughs> let's try them out, I guess. So I ended up going with the straight leg jeans. It just really hit that 70s vibe for me. Now I will say, oh my God, trying to fit into these jeans, honestly, right now, literally right now, it's a lot. It's a little bit painful because they're still so tight. But anyways, I really love this outfit. I'm just happy I was able to revive these two pieces. So now we're gonna go to this star little blouse. I think the reason I didn't wear it as often just felt like too tight on my body. But I tried it again and I was like, wait, it does fit. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I kinda think I should pair it with that star check tool robe that I have that I wore in my previous video. Just, I don't know, playing up on them stars. And I kinda wanna put this together. I don't know if it's gonna be like tacky cause it's like stars and stars, but I'm like, you know what? Just do it, not a big deal. Now for the bottom, I'm thinking these shorts, it just goes with the color palette. The boots though, they're black, but it does have wood on the heel, which goes with the brown. So I'm hoping that it works. This outfit is so much fun, but like fun in a subtle way because of the neutral tones. I mean, maybe y'all like, girl, I don't know what subtle means to you, but um, if you're like, girl, that's a little bit too much for me, like pattern on pattern, star on stars. I don't know about that. Here are some other options that you might be cool with. Yeah, I really don't know why I wasn't wearing this a lot. I really felt because it didn't fit me, but it fits me fine now. So, hey, I mean, that's good. Next is this blouse over here that I've had for the longest time. A friend of mine actually thrifted this and she gave it to me. She's like, I just saw it and I just thought like you had to have it. I haven't ever worn this. It definitely was like really tight on my body. <laughs> you know, looking at it, um, I was like, you know what? Let me just try it on again. And it actually fits. So I'm like, okay. This is such a bold pattern. So I can either try to make this really casual or I can just play up with the colors. I think I'm gonna show you two options for this though. So let's go. We have this blouse and maybe I should just pair it with some, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe we can go for these which are thinner and they're like shorter. So I guess it could be more of like a springtime type of thing. Let's see. 
how these two will work. When I tell you how motherfucking surprised I am to be in this outfit, wow, wow, wow. I feel like some like 50s looking look going to like a picnic or something. What I ended up doing is I just tucked the shirt in so that you could like see my waist and it just like looks better for my body. Wow, this looks so good. All right, so this was the colorful option. Let's see if we could um, tone it down and make it more casual, which casual is probably just going to mean jeans. Back at my jeans and cereal and panetong stash. <laughs> what I could do. Honestly, I could just wear these lilac pants and be good with it. But I mean, I'm saying casual. So I think these are gonna be the ones. So what I just did is I switched out the pants for these jeans and switched out the purple loafers for these cute little cat flats. It kind of looks like Artemis. I kept the same earrings and I also added in a cute little bag and it ties in with the blue that is in the blouse. I also could have added a purple beret onto this. Um. So I added in a beret, <laughs> you know, just in case if you wanted just a little bit more of an accessorized little outfit. Okay, on to our last piece. On a whim, I was like, I decided just to try it on. And then when these boots came in, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think we can make this work. I already know what outfit I'm gonna pick. Yes, okay, let's go. All right, so I know what I'm gonna wear this with, but I can't find my turtleneck. And I'm gonna pair it with safety shorts because I don't have bicycle shorts, but I really need to buy bicycle shorts. Yeah, it's gonna be a look, so be prepared. This outfit got me feeling like I need a paintbrush in my hand ASAP, or I need a pen in my hand and I need to write down like poems or something. I guess because I'm just like wearing all black and I don't know, these boots make me feel like a different person. <laughs> it's like really tough and I don't think I have a whole lot of that in my wardrobe like, looking like tough. But with these boots, it's a different story. I feel tough, but like cool and edgy. I love how this print just has its time to shine. For the other look, I wanna make it look colorful. So let's see what I can do. I actually brought out two options. One option would be this pink turtleneck. Kinda look like the same outfit, but just like with a more pop of color. Or other option would be to put this white button up underneath. Holy macaroni. Wow. I am really just surprising myself today how this whole look just came together, but Honestly, it's the shoes that tied it all in because if I didn't have the right style of shoes, I feel like it just wouldn't look right. This looks amazing. So initially I was gonna go with the pink turtleneck, but instead I went for the white button up. And then I knew I wanted to play along with the colors, so then that's why I picked this blazer. Two very different prints, but it works. But just having this white button up balances the colors out. This shirt used to be like my favorite shirt. I would wear this all the motherfucking time. Now this has like just reignited my love for this shirt. Whew. Okay, so that's that's it for this video. Um, yes, I'm dressed in the second to last outfit because I forgot to take the B-roll for this look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you feel inspired to go into your wardrobes and pick out like at least two things that you haven't worn in a really long time and see what new ways you could sell. So maybe now you've bought some new pieces that really can just take that item onto the next level and I really feel like these shoes that I got um, from a little really did it. Especially these, cause it's so out of my normal style. If you guys do end up putting an outfit together and are like blown away by your creativity and everything, put it up on Instagram, make sure to tag me. I would love to see them and that's it. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.